Ja, Schaffe. Servus, Chris. Ich habe eine mega geile Idee. Machen wir einen fetten Roadtrip von meinem Camper von Osel nach Tromsø. Okay, das klingt gut. Was ist genau der Plan? Ja, ich habe mir gedacht, wenn Kitesurfen, Skitouren gehen, im besten Fall kombinieren wir es. Fahren mit dem Kite drauf und mit den Ski runter. Okay, das ist geil. Kennst du wen in Norwegen? Nein, wir werden sicher wen kennenlernen. Okay. Ah, das ist mein Text. Ja, Tail, das geht nicht. Kann man mir einfach einen Film her sagen? The first years. It's not the rock. It's not the snow, nor the ice. It's not the mountains, nor the roots on them. It is the people. History lies within the people. The drama, the dreams and the greatness. Everything belongs to the individual, the truth and the illusion of the rootless vertigo. History is written by the survivor and the story is moved to an arena where the egocentric perspective gives order to the story. There's a message in all this for an old man and into the young generations. It would be like, we have to listen to our body. And our body is made for movement. It's not made for sitting. Our mind are made for connection with other people. We are group animals. We need to be together. And we need to talk together and do things together. We travel together and we have to move. changing. The, the one word about the climate here and the, the, what you can experience is, is change. We're really far north here, more north than the northern tip of Alaska. We have real summers with 24-hour sun and we have dark winters with no sun and everything in between. Welcome to Arctic Norway. Willkommen am Polarkreis. Jetzt werden wir da mal ein bisschen snow kiten gehen. My ancestors had some, some hard years up here, really hard years. They were living off, off from the sea, what they can get from the sea, and also from hunting up in the mountains. But now everything has changed by the road and, uh, and the infrastructure. 
I think this is a, a trash place, a golden place. Everybody is passing this area, goes up to Tromsø, Lingen, Lofoten, Norway. Where you go, you have to pay money, you have to stand in a queue, in a line. I didn't like people to stop here. You know the view we had last night? We were all alone up in the mountain yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just checking the Lofoten wall from a distance. It was a hard trip for you guys, but... Uh, just checking the Lofoten wall from when you come down to the, to the beach with a bonfire and some beers. Oh, you were really... You were lucky. Yeah. It doesn't cost us anything to use the nature. For me, to help people to experience this nature is, uh, is payment enough. Ich glaube, dafür gibt es keine Regeln. Fischeregel Nummer 1. Ist die Spule nicht ganz dicht, fischst du heute nicht. <lacht> <lacht> Fuck that, Alter. Was ist das? because uh, it's big mountains, it's uh, like difficult mountains and I like to find my way up myself. I don't use maps, I don't use anything. It's about learning how to use the mountains, learn it by yourself. Yeah, I don't feel small in mountains. I really feel big when I'm up there. It's like I, I did this mountain. It's smaller than me right now. It's good, it's freedom. to get down before the white dot is back. The week you spent there was really bad weather, so come back. Come back to Norway. We can, can have a lot of fun.